Hey everyone, Jason Shepard here, M0A.com. We're at the Williston Airport. We're number two for landing on the downwind here coming in. And I'm going to share with you guys one of my best landing tips, and that is slow flight down the runway. If you ever find the runway sneaking up on you too quick, you think, man, we hit the ground way too soon. Chances are you're not taking your eyes down the runway soon enough. Slow flight down the runway would help with that. If you find yourself struggling to land on center line, learning how to control the airplane in slow flight, especially down the runway, can help greatly with that. And I'm going to chat uh, and kind of talk you through that here in just a bit. We're going to beam our touchdown point and bring my car heat back, power back, 10 degrees of flaps. I'm treating it just like I would a normal landing in this case. getting off Delta Alpha. Well, All right. Traffic test is nine to the northeast inbound for landing runway two three. Williston traffic. And Williston traffic, Skyhawk seven one five nine Quebec, turn left base runway two three, low approach Williston. And just like we would any other normal landing, we'll use flaps just like we would and everything else. And we're coming on in here. On base, next notch of flaps. And again, so often that we, we practice landings and we're in ground effect for such a split second to be able to practice it and extend that out down the runway is so valuable. So we treat it like a normal landing until right before touchdown, we come in, we're going to give it a little bit of power, and the goal is to hold it as close to the runway without touching it as possible. Williston traffic, Skyhawk 715, Quebec, turning final, runway 23, low approach only, Williston. Williston traffic, Skyhawk 1212, uniform, checked in from fuel pump to 23, run up via Alpha. We're looking good, just coming on in. Everything's set before lane checklist. Everything's all complete. Speeds are all looking good. Coming on in, eyes are looking at that number two, three right now. As we keep it coming on in. Power's back to idle, I'm gliding this thing on in. Entering into ground effect about now. Transitioning and right about now, holding it, bleeding off some airspeed and giving it some power. Giving it some power. Eyes down that runway, giving it some power. Holding it there, holding it there. Feel like, oop, no one touched. There we go, got it. Almost did there for a second. Hold it, look at my ailerons, how ineffective they really are here. Look at my rudder, I have so much control and authority there. See what it looks like holding center line here as we head down this runway. Feel what the controls are like. Burn this sight picture into your brain because this is what it's like right before you touch down. You just only get to experience it for a split second. Slow flight down the runway helps with that. I see the 1,000 foot marks, about 1,500 feet left to go, so I'm going around full power. Remember, I have all those flaps in there when you do a go around, so that nose is going to have a tendency to come up. So be ready to fight that. And I can bring my flaps up a hair, up a notch, and positive rate. Clear my off, any obstacles, flaps up and out. Slow flight down the runway is going to help you greatly with your landings, I promise, with that sight picture, with that feel for landings. Get out, practice it with the flight instructor, and leave me a comment down below this video on m0a.com with how it worked out. Enjoy the rest of your day, and most importantly, remember that a good pilot is always learning. Have a great day, guys. See ya.